Hi everyone, it is Thursday, March 11th, and I had so much fun doing a video newsletter last week. I thought I would do it again this week. Um, we just finished filming here for the next two weeks services with spring break coming up, and the message that I recorded for the children for this Sunday really spoke to me as a mom and a woman living through this pandemic. And so I thought I would share it more on a um, grown up level with you all. Um, I talked about candles and how candles have this wonderful way of filling a space with light when there is no other light, especially in a dark room. Those of us who may have lost power during the recent ice storm um, may be familiar with that. And I challenge the children to remember anytime they see a candle or um, the sun, as we've been so blessed to see this week, um, to remember that God's love is a lot like that light, that it can reach the dark corners um, of our lives, even when sometimes we're not sure it's going to. Um, I... If you promise not to tell my children, I don't think they'll see this in any way. We, um, for spring break, have a big surprise trip planned for them. And they don't know about it. And um, I got a message yesterday saying that my two youngest were quarantined due to exposure at school from someone who has COVID. So I had planned on spending today getting a bunch of things done for work and then having lots of energy left over when I got home to start packing. And instead, I have my wrangled two children at home trying to do Zoom lessons and finding a way to get up here to record. Um, and I'll say when I first got that letter, I was just thinking, why is there one more thing? I just wanted um, a bit of light over spring break and we're praying that everyone stays healthy and we can still have our, our, our plans going forward. But um, it feels like these days we are so ready to be back to normal, so ready to have that lightness and joy. And um, every time we feel like we're almost there, something happens or we're worried that something is going to happen. And I think we just have to remind ourselves that even in these times when we're not sure what the next step is, and <laughs> we're not even sure, even if we knew what the next step is, if we would be allowed to take it because of unexpected news, like two of your children are quarantined suddenly, um, that God's love is with us, even in those um, dark times, or maybe not even dark, but very frustrating times where we so want to get back to normal, but we just can't get there yet. So um, I will be thinking and praying for you all as we go into this next week of rest. Um, for those of you who have school-aged children, um, for those of you who don't have school-aged children, and it's just another week, extra blessings heaped on you as you continue um, to find your way in this time. Take a chance, take a moment to turn your face to the sun and remember that that warmth and that light remind you that God's love is always with you. Prayers for a wonderful week. See you guys soon.